These aren't the best holes that I ever have drilled. Hey everyone, this is going to be a pretty quick project, I think, but I got this new grill that takes these liquid propane canisters, and so far I've left the grill on, I think, three times and drained the entire canister. That's a safety issue, it's inconvenient, it wastes money, and obviously my memory isn't getting any better to turn it off, so I got this collection of parts to make it automatic. Basically, this is going to be the main piece of this project. It's an egg timer type uh, valve that you set it at least for 20 minutes and up to an hour and then after that time it closes the valve and shuts off the propane so even if I leave the grill on this will turn the gas off turn the flame off and at most it will only be on for an hour so hopefully that should save me gas and not burn everything down. I also picked up this hole saw which is just about the perfect size for this valve and this it fits slightly less than the dial so it should install rather nicely. I also got some stainless steel screws since this is going to be uh, exposed to the weather and those will fit into here. These are 832 by 38 screws and I will link all of this stuff that I used in the description. I got an extension hose because I only have the one line going from the propane tank to the grill. I'm going to need that to go into the valve and then another one out of the valve and into the grill. Some various fittings to both reduce from half inch to three eighths to fit the hose, and then also a couple of elbows, and then finally some pipe thread sealant that is okay to use for natural gas and a wide variety of fluids and gases. Now, I'm quick note on this, I'm only going to be using it on the pipe threads, not the compression threads. Uh, these should seal by this taper fitting inside of this taper and then being tightened down and shouldn't need the pipe thread sealant, whereas these other ones will need it, just helps lubricate and seal it, but if you use it on the compression fittings, I've read that it might prevent a positive seal and could cause it to leak. I'm going to be mounting this right here and it's just going to be another dial that I have to turn to use the grill. I will just have to turn it to 20 and then start the grill. And then this will tick back and I'm going to print out or cut rather uh, some vinyl indicators just to maybe show at least where the zero position is if not an arrow or something so you know which way to turn the dial. First things first is going to be assembling all of these fittings into this valve and then also you can see the screw holes are going to, are going to mount flat against this back surface and what that means is that this round part will be sticking through so that's why I got a hole saw that's slightly bigger than that and also this indicator is going to cause a problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and also grind or cut this off.
All right, at this point, I have everything connected. Now I need to turn the fuel off for safety. Make sure that's off. Disconnect this from the tank. And then I need to disconnect it from up here. And I will be attaching that part here. And then I will be attaching this part back to where that was. All right, now that this is all plumbed up, we can reinstall this to the tank and do a little test to make sure it works. All right, the flame is on. And then when the time runs out, the flame goes out. So it's working perfectly. Now I just need to mount this to the grill and we'll be good to go. I don't have anywhere in particular that I need it to go. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball a spot. And I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to use this center punch just to kind of mark an approximate hole for the drill bit. And these are really handy, spring-loaded center punch. I'll link one of these in the description as well. And it just makes a little dimple so the drill bit doesn't walk around on you. So that looks just about perfect. It's a little bit rough, but that's okay. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of spray paint just to keep it from rusting. And next, I'm going to use this piece of paper to identify where the holes need to be. And put this roughly in place.
Well, these aren't the best holes that I ever have drilled, but maybe they'll work. And there we go. Now I just have to turn this on. Then I can start the grill. And if I forget about it and leave it on, it'll turn back off and save my gas. It's a little bit dark. I didn't get the hole exactly right, but it's totally functional and it'll hopefully save me some money. I might come back and make a nice kind of finish plate for this, just so it's not an obvious hole. But in the meantime, this is exactly what I want. Uh, it's easy to get to, it's easy to see whether it's on or off, and I'm pretty happy. So again, check the description for links for this various stuff. Uh, this was quick and easy to do and probably Hopefully, definitely worth the amount of effort it took with the amount of propane that I'm going to save. And uh, yeah, and that's it. So until next time, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below with any thoughts or suggestions. Remember to hit that thumbs up button and check out the description for the links to these various components if you want to do something like this yourself. Also, sorry it got a little bit dark. It's a little bit late. I'm outside trying to get it done. And uh, I think we did. So thanks again.